now let me talk about the most important tips or strategies that I personally used to crack my uh, June 2021 foreign medical graduate exam. Let's get started. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Jamie Anita and I graduated from New Vision University, Tbilisi, Georgia and I cracked my June 2021 FMG that is a Foreign Medical Graduate Examination with a score of 217 and I'm here to talk to you about the most important exam tips or strategies around the exam and before starting this video, let me remind you about the free subject access that PrepLadder is providing you guys Yes, you have a chance to make the most of Dr. Zainab Vora's radiology lectures without paying anything till 31st of December and she has explained even the most complex topics in a way that is understandable to everyone. What are you waiting for? Start your radiology preparations right away. And uh, now let me talk about the most important tips or strategies that I personally used to crack my uh, June 2021 foreign medical graduate exam. Let's get started. Number one is to shift your focus towards the most important topics as the exam approaches. When you start your preparations, it's always a good idea to study as much as possible and cover everything. But for an entrance exam, it's also important to know what not to focus, especially when the exam is near or when the exam approaches. So to have an idea about the most important topics and the frequently repeated topics, you can always look at the previous uh, past year question papers of your exam. For example, if you're appearing for FMG, go through the past uh, three years papers of FMG and analyze the paper thoroughly. Number two is focusing on your revisions. Revisions are the key to ace any medical entrance exam. You know, it's always a better idea to revise uh, whatever you have studied and to stick to them rather than, you know, trying to learn new concepts and not revising them enough. So make sure to complete at least around three revisions before appearing for any exam, be it FMG or NEXT or NEET PG. Number three, focus on images. Seeing the recent patterns of uh, exams like FMG or NEET PG, images do form a major number of questions these days. And, uh, you know, even if you have no idea about the clinical case that is given on your exam paper, most of the times you would be able to just look at the image and come to a conclusion. So do not ever skip images. Try to look at them whenever you feel like not studying or, you know, before going to bed every day, they give an extra edge to your preparation. And also you can make use of the snapshot section that is available on the PrepLadder app. Number four, solving MCQs. Solving MCQs is what they call as active recall and it will also help you to revise your uh, concepts more efficiently. So try to solve at least around 100 to 150 MCQs on a daily basis and don't just focus on getting the right option. The aim is not at all that. It is to, you know, um, revise all the options and to uh, focus on the discussion part more. Number five, I'm going to discuss about the importance of mock tests. You know, mocks will help you in many ways. Um, they'll help you analyze your preparations and it will help you to, you know, shift your focus towards your weaker subjects. Not only that, it will also help you to get familiarized with the recent exam pattern and also with your time management. So try to give at least around four to five mocks before appearing for any exam and do not ever skip them. Having said that, PrepLadder offers a wide range of mock tests, which are known as uh, prep tests. Firstly, you have mini tests, which are uh, based on individual subject. You can check your level of preparation of a particular section or a particular topic of that subject. For example, if you take pathology, you can just uh, choose all the histopath slides and you can just give a test on them. And secondly, you also have integrated uh, prep tests where you can integrate several subjects, say four to five subjects which you have completed and you can test your level of preparation. And finally, you also have NEET PG or FMG prep tests which are uh, designed exclusively for people who are going to appear for entrance exams like NEET PG or a screening tests like FMG. And it also includes questions that are clinical and not only that, which are predictive of the real exam. So do not forget to check them out. Last but not the least, my final tip for you is to be consistent with your preparations. Schedule a day and uh, write down whatever you have to complete and finish up your tasks. I know it's a long process. Sometimes you may feel like not studying and quitting. Always take adequate breaks in between and get back on track. 
continuous effort is the key to success as the proverb says try and try again until you succeed that's it i hope you found this video useful and do not forget about the free radiology access that is available on the preplado app till 31st of december kindly make use of it and good luck for your exam